Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I'm going to be making a rainbow butterfly thank you card. I'm going to be using the Beautiful Day stamp set that I got in the April 2018 Simon Says Stamp card kit and I'm just going to be using this small butterfly stamped a few times and I'm going to mask it off. All of the stamping is done with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock because I'm going to be rainbow coloring them in with Copic markers. Uh, so I just used some masks that I had made and I just made sure that I didn't stamp the butterflies over the antennas so I didn't have to worry about them because uh, like they're really skinny and nobody wants to nobody wants to cut those out. That's not fun. <laughs> Uh, so the masks are made from the full back adhesive post-it notes and I just cut out f three or four of them because I can move them once I'm done stamping in that area. And the greeting that I'm going to be using is you are simply the best from the same stamp set. And then I am going to start coloring these in. So I wanted to go with a rainbow because the recipient for this card, uh, I asked her what her favorite color was and she said she didn't have a favorite color. And I was all, everybody has a favorite color. And then she just looked at me like I was crazy. So, I don't know. Maybe she just didn't want to tell me what her favorite color was. So I used all the colors because that's, that's logical, right? Like, I just don't know which one. Um, so all the butterflies are going to be colored exactly the same way. I'm going to start with my darkest color in the little circles and little teardrop, teardrop shapes and then by the body, pull that out with my medium color and then blend it out completely with my lightest color. And I follow that pattern for all six of the butterflies. For the red butterflies, I'm using R29, R24, and R22. And then for the orange butterflies, I'm using YR07, YR04 and YR02. Uh, so I have been meaning to post more frequently. Um, however, I've mentioned before that I got a new job after being a stay-at-home mom for five and a half years. I got a part-time job where I was supposed to work administration every other weekend and just cover every now and then for the other people, like if they have a doctor's appointment or they're sick or their kids are sick or whatever. And so I had to cover on the Friday and half of this past Monday, which was, which was totally fine. And I've been at work every day since. <laughs> Plus this is my weekend to work. So I'm going to be working seven days in a row and I don't even know what's going on for next weekend because one of the girls is pretty sick. She's not, she's not doing so awesome. Um, so I've been covering for her and then it just got, it got crazy busy and I have to stay late for two days. And by the time I get home, I'm just absolutely spent. Like today was literally the first day I've been in my craft room in almost a week since I posted my last video or my last blog. No. Because that card was from before that. So yeah, since I posted my last video, that was the last card I made. And like, it was a really long time ago. And like, I'm not really used to that. I'm not used to not being in in my art room, right? Because that's, that's where I like to be. So it's been, it's been tiring. It's been some seriously long days. And, but it's good, right? Like more, more time, more work. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's, it's good for the paycheck, which is, which is good for the haul videos. I think you're, I think you're picking up what I'm putting down here. So, <laughs> um, so back to the card, uh, for the blue butterfly, I'm using the B02, B00 and B000. And then for the purple butterfly, I'm using V15, V12, and then V20. And this purple combination is kind of a new combination for me. I haven't really used it before recently, if that makes sense. This is like the second or third card that I've used this particular combination on, and I've I've decided I really like it. 
I didn't think I was going to like the V20 with the 1512 combo, but it turned out really great. <laughs> it just gives us a really soft look and it's, it's just super nice. All of the bodies are done with E43 and then I'm just doing a simple drop shadow over to the left and bottom of each butterfly as though my light source were in the top right hand corner which I know I usually say is in the front but then I wouldn't be able to put shadows right because that'd be directly underneath them and I didn't want that I wanted shadows on this one because I wasn't going to add anything else to the card except for embellishments because this is me and we're going to go a little bit crazy with some embellishments coming up here real quick. So next I am going to just use my tape runner to adhere this to a piece of purple-ish cardstock. Maybe periwinkle. Maybe it's too dark for periwinkle. I don't know. It was just in my stash. And I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. Uh, I was going to go with rainbow, but then not enough of it would show. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to waste my rainbow paper. <laughs> so bad, right? Uh, so our card today is going to be a standard A2 sized side folding card uh, so four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm just going to adhere that flat as well because all of the dimension here is going to come from embellishments. I'm going to start with my clear wink of Stella and I'm going to go over all of the butterflies and I keep moving off camera here um, just to kind of clean off the tip because every now and then especially with like the warmer colors the reds and the oranges I have found that the Wink of Stella will actually pick up some of that color. And I don't even know why, because I don't think Wink of Stella is alcohol based. I don't know. It could be. I don't know. I've never read the package. Um, but every now and then it just kind of picks it up. So I just brush it off on a piece of scrap paper. And so that's what's happening there. So I was going to use glossy accents because we all know I'm a super fan of glossy accents over those darker spots that I had colored on all the butterflies. But then I was like, no, I have crystals from Studio Cadia that would work perfectly. So I'm just using the Ranger multi-medium matte over all of those dots that I had colored in. And so after I like tossed out my glossy accents idea, I had wanted to use coordinating gems for each of the butterflies. Um, and then any butterflies that I don't have coordinating gems for, I was gonna use the iridescent or the sparkling because then the color would still come right through. Um, but then I decided, no, I'm just going to go iridescent across the board. Uh, mostly because uh, I, ha I got a recent, another haul from Studio Cadia quite recently, and one item was missing. But I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all because I have emailed them, and I haven't heard back yet, but I think it's pretty busy because my order from Simon Says Stamp is still in the processing phase, and it's been more than a week, and that's pretty unusual as well. So I think it might be just a little bit busy all around. And you know what? That's okay because I have complete faith that Studio Cadia will get back to me and we will get this little issue resolved because I really want my ocean wave crystals because they are so, so pretty. Um, and I mean, things happen, right? People make mistakes. It is what it is. It's not a big deal. So I added the second largest gem to all of the dots of the butterflies. And I was like, well, I can't just stop there. <laughs> I haven't played in forever, so now I am adding five more of the itty bitty ones just in randomly. And like, if you back up, <laughs> you can see it because I was talking, couldn't talk about it then, right? Um, you see me like moving my glue around, I'm like, hmm, maybe here, maybe here. And it's like, no, 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 you have 13, 18. 18 gems, you have like a million gems on here. There's a million gems, not to mention like it's covered in in clear Wink of Stella. So that is going to be the card for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and comment. I love them all. I will leave links to my blog post and my Facebook page down below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.